With the global economy gradually recovering from the COVID-19, the aerospace and defense industry have shown signs of a strong rebound in 2022. Even among global challenges such as elevated inflation, geopolitical unrest and high fuel prices. Moreover, supply chain and talent issues continue to limit the industry growth. Even if I do see a positive outlook for the aerospace and defense industry, the COVID-19 crisis has shown that the industry needs to be more resilient, flexible and sustainable through, I would say, digital transformation, but also attracting, retaining and developing talents, decarbonization and, of course, innovation. When it comes to digital transformation, aerospace and defense companies are expected to be more agile with production capability to navigate future disruption. The digital thread which connects engineering, supply chain, manufacturing and aftermarket to enable a model-based enterprise is expected to play an even more prominent role in building agility. When it comes to attracting, retaining and developing talents, even so recruitment were important in 2022, the workforce turnover rate is still high and an aging workforce contributes to the workforce shortage. A global strategy should be put in place to attract and retain talents and encourage a culture of innovation. In that transition, building digital skills will certainly help. When it comes to decarbonization, the aerospace and defense industry is committed to achieve net zero carbon emission by 2050. We have no choice but to reach this goal. As a source of carbon emission, the aerospace and defense sector can make an enormous impact through operational improvement, sustainable aviation fuel, new propulsion technologies such as electric and hydrogen, and global market-based measures like carbon offset. When it comes to innovation, I'm quite convinced that the next generation of civil aircraft would be quite different from an F320 or 737, for example, in terms of shape, wingspan, and propulsion system. Moreover, emerging markets such as space, supersonic, hypersonic, advanced air mobility are poised to change the industry landscape and capabilities in the coming years. First of all, I would like to say that in ACODIS, we have more than 8,000 engineers accompanying our aerospace and defense customers for more than 30 years. And I strongly believe that we have a unique positioning to support our clients in their current complex challenges. With ACODIS, we are bringing together a strong aerospace engineering DNA and outstanding IT competencies, thus enabling us to accelerate our client digital transformation. With our global footprint, we can support our clients all around the world. This international presence also enables to speed up the go-to-market while optimizing cost and resource capabilities. We are developing a unique portfolio to support our clients with end-to-end -end solutions gathering product knowledge, data management, software and services. With Acodis Research, we are training our engineers on new and future technologies enabling us, for example, to address our client sustainability challenges, but also support them in future air mobility. In our aeronautics CUE, we are developing new ways of working by implementing new processes and methods. Attracting and retaining talent is also a challenge for us. I believe we need to emphasize that the aerospace and defense industry is a talent destination. To conclude, I want to reassure that ACODIS can support its aerospace and defense clients in their current complex challenges, but also our determination to be for our clients a real source of proposal. As the aerospace and defense is a key sector for ACODIS, having a strong presence in, at the Paris Air Show is certainly a must for us. Moreover, we will be able to showcase to our clients our capability in terms of innovation, in particular on sustainable aviation and digital transformation. So please come and visit us. Engineering a smarter future together.